minutes on the net net with deck. Hi, this is Deck speaking, Deck Busky, founder of the Serious Writers Guild all those years ago. And I suppose you call me the owner of makehits.co.uk and makehits.com. So what have I got for you this week in four minutes on the net with deck? Well, it's a little bit of a beware situation. And this is particularly for live performers, artists, bands. Now, people in the UK and probably people in the USA will know that my band, The Bachelor, is pretty huge. We've been around for a long time. This year it's our 50th anniversary tour. Playing some big venues, big festivals and that sort of stuff. And we play a lot of, in this country, they're called holiday parks. And some of these venues can be uh, almost city size. <laughs> they're absolutely huge. Probably got them in the States as well and in Australia. Last Saturday night, we were contracted to play in one of the biggest in the country. We arrived along and put the detail, the postcode, the zip code, into the TomTom. -tom. It brought me to the middle of a cornfield. <laughs> now I could see all these mobile homes, so I just followed uh, the line of the mobile homes, went around, came to this huge reception area, went in, so bachelors appearing here tonight, and she said, oh, you're, you're in Seymour's. I thought that's probably one of the club venues. That's fine. That's no problem. So I rang up my brother on mobile phone. He was already there. And the crew, we've got six crew that were setting up and almost set up. So I arrived along just to, as I usually do, around five o'clock or so, just to make sure everything is set up and ready to go. Set up the way I wanted. Not the way the crew wanted, the way I wanted. But they're used to that. Went in, did all the checks, and then we thought, let's, let's have a bit of dinner. And just as we were leaving the venue, this act turned up, a girl, and blah, 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 turned out we were in the wrong venue. How could that happen? Quite unbelievable. So um, immediately the guys uh, struck down, and we realized, and thinking about it, it should have been the beachcomber. The beachcomber was actually the holiday park next door. Now the two are massive, absolutely massive. This is in Grimsby, by the way, Humbertson. Eventually we got around there. Now that's not the end of the story. So the big beware here is don't rely on postcodes. Make absolutely sure you're in the right venue. You may think that's crazy for an organization like mine to do that sort of thing, but it actually happened. First time ever in our career. So just beware. Do not go on postcodes. Next thing that happened was when we eventually got to the right venue, which again was huge, massive place, huge audience, very noisy by the way, because there were a lot of kids, as in those holiday places there are, so they didn't want to be talked at at all so we were we usually aim to do same for about hour and a half sometimes two hours this time with all the noise and everything oh it just seemed right we did about an hour and 15 minutes which is nice hour and 15 minutes it was great we did about a 40 minute uh, meet and greet afterwards which we're quite famous for the owners of the place were in and uh, suddenly said we were contracted to sing for 90 minutes and wanted to pay pro rata now we're not cheap i can tell you that pro rata so just another beware that has never happened to us in our whole career and we've been at this a long time we know all the tricks know all the wrinkles the entertainment manager was beside himself he said he couldn't apologize enough but the entertainment manager actually did not tell us the required time. But however, it was on the contract. So that's a beware to performers out there. Beware. Always know exactly the time that you should be performing for. Have the contract. I said to my brother in future, we're going to travel a folder 
with the contract in. My daughter does. We've never had to, and that is the first time ever that anybody has done that to us. Uh, and it's major money, major money. Uh, so, in future, we're going to have the folder. So there we are, two big bewares. Make sure you go to the right venue. <laughs> it may sound easy, but make sure you go to the right venue. Second of all, make sure that you perform for the contracted time. You see, when you get to our stage of the game, when you're very expert at handling audiences, you, you get to know exactly the amount of time that an audience are comfortable with. Yeah? Are comfortable with so they don't get bored or anything like that and you leave them on a real high I mean the re audience reaction was absolutely massive but just a little beware be aware of exactly the time you're contracted for so there's two excellent bits of advice with nice anecdotes to go with it and this is Deck Deck Klosky saying see you next week for another four minutes on the net with Deck bye mm -hmm.